Today on the Radium Records channel, we're not talking about plugins, we're talking about hardware. Specifically this bad boy, it's the Positive Grid Spark Live Amp. And at first glance you think, hey, this is just an amp, bro. I don't wanna talk about an amp, I got a Marshall, I got a half stack. This is a little different and I wanna jump right into what makes this thing so unique and so different and something that I'm using a lot lately. So I wanted to share it with you guys on the channel. Let's, let's dive in, let's talk about it. So obviously today, social media is the name of the game. Content, content, content. You can make as many records as you want, but if you don't have great content to drop with those records, it's gonna be really hard to get noticed for your music or promote your music in any way, right? Uh, we're not talking about big labels anymore. We're talking about independent artists going out, being creative, making their own records, budgeting their own records. I'm one of those independent artists, so I feel you, <laughs> right? Okay. But we need stuff to make us creative, make creative content with. So I took this thing for a spin. Uh, Positive Grid sent this to me, first of all. They were like, hey, we want you to try this out. You have really cool content and we think you might like this amp. I was like, what, what am I gonna turn down a free deal? Like, okay, shoot me over the thing, right? And at first I, I have to admit to you guys, like I was pretty skeptical. Now, <laughs> what made me skeptical was I kept seeing the positive grid stuff, the amps, the spark stuff. And I was like, oh, are those like toys? Right? I was very wrong about this being anywhere near a toy. This is very much a professional tool. 150 watts, four channels, and um, you can plug a guitar, a bass right into that DI input in the front. Let's get into the back, which gets really crazy. We have a channel two input with an XLR combo jack, which means I literally can take this guy, right? Dynamic microphone, plug it directly into this port, and I'm off and running. I'm playing a live show, and I got built-in presets here as well. So we have one, two, three, four. I'm like, hey, check, check. That's really clean. We can do EQ and all sorts of stuff on the back and the front, depending on what what channel you're on, but there's also a master EQ and master output back here as well. And I'm gonna get into some actually really surprising things about this as well, deeper into this video that I didn't even know about until today, which is really fascinating. Let's just say you won't need this anymore right? To record your guitar, bass, vocals, whatever you want. But let's get back to this microphone. Presets, master EQ. I, I got this thing on like a really flimsy drum throne. <laughs> so sorry about that. Um, and sorry, Positive Grid, you deserve better than this, right? But um, here's this master EQ. So we can boost the mids. And of course, it's going to start woo, whistling, right? But if you have a room that starts whistling in the mids, you could take down the mids. You could take down the highs, take them up. Hey, let's get that nice crispy vocal. Check, check. Hey guys, welcome back to my set here at the coffee shop. <laughs> right? <laughs> But this thing's awesome for gigging, for sure. And I'll show you some clips of a little gig and some content I did on a rooftop in downtown LA promoting my new music with just this and guitar player and me. It was fun, it was awesome. But there's also an app, which is amazing. And I'll get into just a little bit into this video. But here's preset one, very clean, easy, right? And then we have preset two, check. We got a little reverb action, makes it a little roomy. Preset three, check, check, a little darker, darker reverb kind of sound. And this is also gonna depend, the effects will depend on whether you have it rotated up like this or on its side. And the crazy thing is this has built-in technology with gyroscope. I know, the fact that I'm talking about this and I'm saying that it has a gyroscope in it and it sets an intelligent EQ depending on how you have it set up, it's kind of weird. It's kind of like we're in the future, right? Back to the future. So that's preset three. Here's preset four for the microphone. Check, check, and we get that really driving kind of sound hey yeah, 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 yeah. and i've decided that i want to die so much fun and crazy drive and gain on this this is like the volume right now on this is at 20 percent, you guys so check this out oh my gosh i'm cranking it and and of course like this is too much gain for this room right boring hey so i can't really do too much there but this gets loud it's 150 watts it's crazy loud so let's get into some of my favorite features of this obviously you have channel one which is going to be the di for the guitar you can get presets in here as well so you get like drive you get like kind of a flangey thing you get a clean sound i'll play some of those for you right now actually i might just unplug the mic let's see what happens nothing nothing right so no feedback nothing just incredible that this thing can pack so much in it and i know i sound like i'm like overselling it but i've been spending a lot of time with this <laughs> so i'm actually really digging it 
So here we go. So we got the, the guitar now plugged into the front. Now I could just turn this up. Now remember, this is four channels. So I can have guitar, keyboard, one of my synths going through it, vocals going through it. And then I'll show you the most exciting part at the end of the video here. So check this out. So now I got this guitar. All I know is power chords on the electric guitar. All right, so those are just, these are just presets built into this bad boy. So let's go to preset one and you just switch the knob here. Has a gain control, has bass, mid, treble, of course. There's a guitar uh, actual volume knob here, which is like the output for it. You want like a really clean twangy sound? Obviously I got a Telecaster here, but you know. so nice and it gets a ton of gain i'm just going to bring this up so you can hear the treble and stuff on it obviously you're not going to hear it awesome like through the microphone here but now that right there is just from the presets so there's some other presets in here as well <laughs> This is wild, right? I'm getting kind of crazy here. But um, anyway, guitar, bass, I've DI'd bass into this. And now I want to take you to the most surprising part of this amp that like, I was like, what? Why is this here? And what's going on? Because guitar is awesome, right? Like guitar amps. I think we got plenty of guitar amps. Something that does all of this, awesome. But then they added some more things. Check it out. As we go to the back here, this gets pretty pretty involved. We have a MIDI in and out. And I was like, why is there a MIDI in and out on this thing? I'm like, it's a four channel kind of PA slash guitar amp slash live performance thing. But then I'm like, what? MIDI in and out? Why? Because it's an interface as well. <laughs> I was like, what? So there's actually USB-C right here, goes directly into your computer and you could use this as a audio interface and MIDI interface. So you could literally plug in MIDI devices. I could take my Juno 106, plug it into the MIDI in right here. I can plug in the USB-C to my Mac Studio and open up Logic Pro and literally cut guitar and Juno 6 using this as an interface. That means this has conversion in it. That means it's an audio interface. Like I said, it literally replaces this, right? That was something that's just super crazy to me to see in this kind of package for around 500 bucks. I was like, that's stupid crazy. And by the way, I'm gonna leave a link in the description here so you guys can pick it up. I talked to Positive Grid and I was like, look, if I'm gonna do anything on this and talk about this in any way, you guys gotta give me a link to give these guys a discount, <laughs> right? Like I wanna give my people a discount, all right? So the link right here in the description will give you guys a discount on this, which is, I don't know. You guys decide what you want to do with it, but I've done some really cool creative stuff with this. Now, last thing and absolutely not least, and maybe what got me through the day the other day on the rooftop in LA was this feature here. Bam. What's that? That is a battery. Do you notice that I don't have this plugged in? <laughs> I've been doing this whole, th this whole video no plug-in. It's not on plug-in. So that means it's been running on battery. The other day I ran this for about three hours, just running vocals, guitar, distorted guitar. Like we were doing content on the phone. I'll pop some of the clips into this video so you guys can see some of that. And at the end, we'll have a little performance of uh, the chorus for my song, uh, Bring Those Good Times Back. And we did it just with this amp recording on an iPhone 13. Like literally, there's no other extra processing or anything. So you guys got to hear that for real, because this thing is really dope for content. That's something I'm finding a lot of use for. But the battery, the battery is amazing. Like this is so crazy cool, you guys. And they gave me another one because I didn't know that there was one in there. <laughs> so I got two, which I'm, you know, I'm not complaining. Thank you again, Positive Grid. You guys are so dope. And uh, I'm having a lot of fun with this. And here's the thing that I do that I realized is to get to the battery, 
right? And I'm not going to take it out now because literally the amp will go off because it's running on battery right now. I just use my little camera key card instead of like, you know, walking around with a flathead screwdriver and you could just boop, boop, boop and take this out. Very simple. And you can replace the battery, get a backup battery, whatever you want. But the fact that it runs on battery sounds great and it keeps going. And I'd say like if you use it really heavy on battery, it'll go for two and a half to three and a half hours, depending on what you're doing with it, right? So that means you could go into a gig space and bring two batteries and play a set acoustic guitar di'd right in right you could use channel two right here right because it's a combo plug you could di your acoustic guitar you could take your microphone well i guess you'd have to use the channel two so di your acoustic guitar channel one right use the microphone pop it in there and you could just have this on a battery and you could put it anywhere in the room which is super dope. You don't have to be like, where's the plug-in? Where's the plug-in? And then just bring an extra battery. So when you're in between sets or something, or you're taking a break, switch the battery out and you're good to go. So really, really cool. It has this little kickstand so you can set it sideways. But um, I've been using this quite a bit lately for all sorts of stuff. Content mainly because I think it's such a cool thing for content. And it's like a PA system, guitar amp, keyboard amp. You could drive, distortion, etc. And then once you get into the actual app, Come on, it's game over. Like if you know anything about bias effects too, bias amp, you're getting those kind of effects on this, on your phone. So you can just like rock out with like a Jimi Hendrix uh, guitar preset, doing a solo with a vocal mic distorted, you know, it's just really fun and it's really cool. So if you guys, uh, I don't know, what, you, what do you think about it? Just let me know in the comments. I'm gonna have fun with this thing. You'll probably see a lot of this in my content. I'm sorry, it's just the way it is. <laughs> when I find stuff I like, I, I use the hell out of it. Obviously like this, microphone, right? So you guys, hopefully this was helpful and you got something out of this. You learned a little bit about this amp. It's much more than an amp. If you want to pick it up, pick it up in the description, get you that discount and don't forget to sub to the channel, right? Because I'm doing plug-in of the week. I'm doing mixing series. I'm trying to give you guys real game without a paywall, right? No paywall. You don't, you don't have to pay extra to get the good information from me. All right. It's all free on the channel. So I'll see you guys next time. Go rock out. Have fun and check out the video. I'm going to drop a video right here of a little performance. I did just the chorus, just a little tease for you with just this amp on the rooftop downtown LA. See you next time, guys.